I remember when I grew up with my granny and my uncle Lane. My mother was right close by, but somehow my granny just more raised the grand pig than her feed daughter. So she ended up to raise me and my little brother. And then I was always be strict and they always want to try push that motivation into your for work for your money instead of a little fast hustle or whatever. I can remember then that always as we done school we can't come on clues to own our kind shop where we live. As we come from school we can't do with homework and we try land. For at least take down and transmission, take out and radiator, know what they want start and alternator, how to change oil for a vehicle. But that I never like that car my and get greasy and smell of oil. I never liked that job in none at all. To me, going to school was like, it was kind of boring, really. It was kind of boring. I miss what happened outside. Eh? And when I had that class, like, I'd pay attention and listen to what they say. But my mind, the one uh, went to high school one year, ended up catching a lot of fight with other things. Due to a lot of early, whatever, then I get, um, when the end of school, yeah, I get my report card and I said, with transcript paper, everything, do not return. I was like, robbery. Well, you know, we'll go and take everything from somebody kind of like thief. I hate for somebody to call a thief something for me and I don't know that who, you know, if you left something there and you come back and gone. So I rather was like, get somebody to defend myself. Okay, that's why I want you, if you can run me and defend yourself, you know, get an easy job taking it away. So that that time I like it, that. Afterwards, we do that on two, three times, so many guys end up on this, can't trust that, but I'm smart on this. I could set up it and watch it back and see what happened and I collect. Okay, I will got people willing to do it, and I got leaders. When I got to prison, I never liked the time when they tell you you have to lock down. You're confined to a certain hours or you know a certain cell other person like they move. I wanna move when I want, when I feel. And I say what? And some other guys they tell me how they have to murder, then they have for so much years. I say, how you could they have for so long, brother, you know, try to escape. Other guys try to escape, but they say no, they're not upon that. Then don't know they're there for that, they wanna do their time. Right? And hopefully they get parole and come out. But prison and ever for me, especially like, you know, Prison never had none for do at that time. Eh? So they did during the day you sleep. You wake up the night, you see them big spot bright light. Even after I come out when I had to sleep, I see them big spot bright light. That I'm like a hand that hurt me. So I never liked that none at all. So as I get if I come up on bail, I say I ain't not going back there for nothing. Well really it changed me a lot. The me you know, when I have a at that time I'm a girlfriend. Her common law wife will love me. I think I never feel I loved her before. I just feel a love, yes, for your ma, your uncle, your granny. But you know, I really feel a pure love. And knowing she have a kid and how she would have feel for now, she went after the other. The mind that, plus she come from back wrong way. Don't know none of that. She come from a Christian family. So I say, I can't let her know at all. She don't come my way that time for reach next 50. And not the way I aim for. I try give her whatever he want and we need and not let her down. And that will make me happy and that will make them happy. And once she and my kids are happy, I straight. I had an anger problem. And my cause my anger problem mostly because I you know, do what I want. I like the way I want. Right? And if, if you do what you want, you have to be the boss. To me, that's why I was sick. So when I worked at Cisco and I say, oh, my supervisors then, to me, I just think they do what they want, right? So I say, I want to be just like that. But so I get there and I work into it, I usually get problems and I get mad. I say, I just want to catch the bus and go home. But then I remember I got kids, I got family, I have to feed them. So I go and sit down and a guy, um, Philip Castro, tell me, come from one to 10 and come from 10 down back. If that no work, I'll come to 20 or whatever. And I do that, and I do that. And I laugh. I say, what's this money? He set me up, and I laugh. That just calm me right down. And I go there, and then other people just always tell me, be lazy to people, lazy. And I say, I have to prove that to them, because most of village people or district people I work with. And it's always they push me along. I say, okay then. 
when I push me down for how long, I make sure I show how smart me because I'm before no boss. And I like that. And so I try to go there. Instead, then they push me down. They start to help me. They start to show me little things that they do wrong. And I get there and I say, oh, one of them to try to test me if you see if I'm weak. And I saw I started to go ahead and saw two of us and started to blow me up, put me up. They said, you got a lot of talent. You don't want a leader. I said, yes, but I want, you said, you could be just like me. I said, no, I want to be better than you. And I started to push and push and get through. All I'm going to contracts them, I'll go through, tell people we're passing. Oh, you, you sharp, you know where to do. I said, no, I did learn. I don't know where to do yet, I still did learn. When I know where to do, when I want my one company, I say. For me, I feel important. Really? Because my wife looked to me so we could meet 50 50 and aim, um, go to, it goes over aim. I feel important. When I go home and my kids they wait for me to come home, feel when do their homework and hear what I do and hear what I accomplish during the work. The day cause for them I like the for their son cause I know everybody why I work it off of my time sheet and what they do every day. And for the work, I feel if I not gotta work Sundays, Sundays I gotta work sick, I do that they push. But if I feel like I cannot gotta work, I might not give some of the guys you know, they hope. But they might want to miss this too. So I would have to push them and show them. Make them feel encouraged to come to work. Make them feel, yes, coming to work not only want to give me a job, but keep them out of trouble too. And get them to safe and make other people look up to them. So that's why I feel very important to her though. That I'd be like one star, everybody look up for follow that star there. And that's what I try to be. That's why I feel important and like the job where I do. Reflections of the fear 